Why, hello and welcome. We're going to play some Dwarf Fortress. I'm going to start another new world. Um, yeah. Let's get that out there. I don't like that one. Nah. Jungles of Honesty. <laughs> the names, I tell you. I tell you. The tapered barb. Where's the volcano? Oh, there it is. It's right here in the corner. Okay, yeah. We'll try this one. Okay. Shoo. Escape. <coughs> yeah, and then... Oh, no, 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 no. No! No! No. Okay, start playing. World 88. We're gonna go to Legends. Loaded Legends. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna hit P for export map. Watch those numbers go crazy for a bit and then settle down. Okay, and then go X. And then once again, just thinking about it. Let's get it done. There we go. Bounce back. We should be good. So let's go to Legends Viewer. <coughs> 21 here. World 88. Kablooey. Okay, the Mine of Leopards. Okay, they had no wars. How large are they? growing and they're in the right area Zuglar okay does not want to be an immortal at all cost that's a good thing <coughs> he's got a wife she wants to start a family uh, jewels minerals fire do they both worship the same god yeah they do all right that's cool um <coughs> we'll take a look at the other civilization just to see Board. Oh, they're still in the same area. Uh, no, no wars. Master of skill. Uh, volcanoes. <laughs> I like volcanoes too. Um. Oh, he's got a buddy. Uh, goblin buddy. Nightmare. Cl Nightmare cleaned. What's his name? Okay. <coughs> I think he's not uh, married. Okay. Actually, actually, every either one of them works. But we got the celebrated lions, the elves. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of war here. Oldest clans. Any of the war elves gone to? Yeah, oh yeah. You've been bonking heads. Um, yeah, and you've been paying for it too. Look at that. Cooperative kingdoms. Okay, enough of this. Alright. <clears throat> I think we'll be the Mine of Leopards. Maybe we'll be the Wayward Boats. You know, it doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. We're just going to play. Start playing. I think I'll make a decision once I get in there. But I think I know where I want to go. And a lot of humans there. A lot of everything, so it's good. Not a lot of flatlands. Yeah, that's what I want. Ooh, it's freezing. Oh, it gets temperate right up here. Good. 
wants a mountain. That's a stream. Can we do better? Um, cold. I don't like cold, but it's a stream. Aquifer everywhere. Oh, I'm just curious. Nope. Okay, down there, yeah. Cool, joyous wires. Hmm. Interesting. Tai Chi. Oh, is this, a, this is a good area too, huh? It's a mountain though, so... Uh, it's less interesting to me. Uh, why doesn't it say anything about the water here? Fucking freezing. I don't want freezing. Yeah, this looks like the best area right here. It's got everything, too. It's just a stream, and I prefer not streams. Only two mountain, and they're cold, untamed wilds. The stream. Probably don't need that much of the stream, but it's kind of kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, see, the mine of leopards might have more. Yeah, it's those guys. Seven sites versus nine. Okay, that's kind of flat. Not really. It's not. I've seen worse. <coughs> I have seen worse. All right, so yeah, it looks like it's like like it's flat over here. So I get peaks up to here, it drips down there, or dips down there. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I never did the micro breakdown. I don't think I need to. Um, well, it depends. Actually, if these guys suck, let's open dwarf spreadsheet. If these guys suck. Um, we will do the micro breakdown. Let's see, do you guys suck? I eh, don't suck. Oh, that's not clear glass, eh? Spiked bowls, eh? Bronze, eh? Um, maybe. Come on, let's wagon with it's stupid. Uh, not bad, not a bad group. I don't know that I need to keep them though. Because Rains. Rains. we probably, yeah, we have clay. Can do a potter. Um, yeah, no, this is a good group, but you know, it's not a, it's not a fantastic group. So I will reroll and do the uh, <coughs> micro breakdown. If you know what that is, I'll, I'll show you. It's, it's my own term. I don't know that anybody else uses it, but. This is what I mean by the micro breakdown. We go down here. I think it was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. It's close by here. Yeah, here it is. All right, so the micro breakdown is where I go over here. I'm like, okay, I'm going to settle here. Got two mo mountain biomes. We got the rest being. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14. 14. So we go over here, and this looks all the same. Ah, there's no clay here. That's the only difference, and the, the mountains are exactly the same. So flux stone everywhere, <coughs> sand everywhere except for the mountains, and then uh, clay everywhere except for um, right coming off of the mountains. So, yeah. Mind of leopards, because yeah, they have this civilization over here, so maybe they have um, more variety. That's, um, that's what I'm banking on. 
Rules. Okay. Arts to read discs. Oh, I'll be right back. That's my uh, food. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to eat my food in a minute, but... Uh, yeah, these guys look pretty good. So he likes cages here. So you can do that for green glass. Blue glass. Yeah. Yeah, so I could go cages here. Adler, huh? Likes anvils and iron. So that'll be make some nice iron anvils. Um, interesting. Gauntlets. Arts rated discs. Who fucking cares? That's not terrible for, uh, what kind of stone do you like? Stoneware, fuck you. Like steel. like to do that for steel. Maybe just that. Um. Hmm, cages or large serrated discs. What kind of metal do you like? You like triple pewter and aluminum. Wood. We might find, we might have that. Scepters, kind of petrified wood. Yeah, that's for steel again. In higher numbers. Huh. What do you like? Chairs and thrones. What kind of wood do you, or clay stone? That's a gamble. I may have it, I may not. Um. Likes uh, steel, steel thrones. Get your heart out, Game of Thrones. You might have a uh, the steel throne instead of the iron throne. It doesn't have the same flow, but orpiments, huh? Platinum. Platinum's one that I usually like to make for the. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look these guys over. I think this is the group I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna eat my food. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I don't have a wax worker. I do this to signify that I want this person to be the broker. And adjust the skills accordingly. All right, let's go dwarf by dwarf. <coughs> Kogan Adumken is the cook glassmaker. Uh, Kogan's really going to be the cook at first. Got two glassmakers. I just kind of went with that because <coughs> likes cages and glass cages are cool. The terrariums. Likes pewter, triple or triple pewter, so like fuck you. I don't know, I don't like that and it's real gar. Just toxic, I looked it up. Um alright, so it's Kogan. Co uh <coughs> Kel is the carpenter. I also gave some uh I gave four dwarves the this exact smattering of social skills, and I gave one the broker, sort of the inverse. These are good for uh, social cohesion, I believe, for the group. Um, this is the Age of Tantrum tr sp uh, Spirals, this version, or these latest versions. So Pacifier, I put two points in Pacifier and Consoler, so if dwarves get angry or depressed. Uh, these dwarves are, are, are good at dealing with that comedian. Uh, they have one point all, all in, so that's actually helpful for, you know, having a jovial, happy group. So I want to keep their spirits up, so, you know, that's... So a, a way to do it. So Kel also is the carpenter. So uh, Kel likes shields. So that's a thing we can make. So there's that. Oh, actually, that's good. Yeah, and also, it's looking at military skills. It would be a pretty good a hunter. So this is, who cares if you like battle axes? What does it have to do with ambition? Um, and also, Aesop would be a good teacher, but I didn't go that direction. I, was, I thought about it for a couple seconds. All right, so that's Kel. Nil is the mechanic again. Novice comedian, adequate consoler and pacifier. Uh, yeah, I mean, not very strong. I mean, as far as yeah, likes native silver, so we won't be making native silver mechanics. Uh, isn't the best at it, but I wanted somebody to be the mechanic, and uh, it's Nil. What do you like here, Grey Langerbone. Hope we don't run into those. I hate those. Steal your shit. All right, so that's Cal that's nil. All right, then we go over to Aesop is the Mason and also the broker. So I, I did three in comedian, one in consoler and pacifier. 
Um, now the better skills to have really are um, persuader, negotiator, judge of intent is nice, appraiser is nice, but these all skill up pretty quick. So they're they're not as essential. Uh, comedian, sometimes you have it or you don't, depending on how, like for instance, um, traits, like if this uh, cheer propensity, wait, is it cheer propensity? Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's, uh, no, it's humor. Yeah, if the humor is low, and the humor's not high, it has an active sense of humor, but if the humor is low, might not develop it, but eh, he's got a leg up. All right, so that's uh, Ethel. Ethel is another glassmaker doctor. Gave all the doctor skills. Ethel is right here. And likes uh, large serrated discs. So those are pretty expensive. Um, we could see. Oh, actually. Yeah, value. As we could see. Oh, uh, where is it? Okay, it's not in there. It would be in trap components. Shoes. Trap values. Yeah, see? Some of the most expensive stuff. So that'll actually help uh, scale them up quicker than cages. The other guy likes cages. But as we can see here, not too bad. Kind of around here. Cages. Large serrated discs. Uh, but actually really good because he likes Knef, whatever. Or Nef, I don't know how to say that. Knef, yeah. Decent nurse. Okay. So that's uh, Athel. We go to Imush, is the weaponsmith. Again, that same, you know, novice comedian, adequate consoler and pacifier. Imush likes steel. So cool, you know. Uh, also, so does Aesop. I was actually thinking maybe switching over to Armorsmith eventually do this thing. I do a couple cheats. I do like three that I can take off the top of my head. Sometimes I do other ones, but generally I, I just try and stick to these three and no more. I, um, we, we have a, um, you know, an innate ability to, to detect vampires and werewolves. Our dwarves. Because I'm a dirty cheater, according to Dwarf Spreadsheet. Call me a dirty cheater, I call you Dwarf Spreadsheet. That's how it is. Alright, so I, I don't like uh, vampires and werewolves, so that's more of a human problem, so I sniff those out. I also, um, I prospect also, I'll know, have an idea of what's in the ground. We have, you know, we're dwarves, we know the, we know the lay of the land and what's below it. That's kind of how I look at it. And I do the, uh, and probably the, probably one of the, the less, uh, to, <laughs> uh, justify cheat is I do the, uh, smelt cheat where I, I melt, items that you get more steel back. It's it's really cheesy. It's the cheesiest cheat, I think, that I do. But uh, I do it. Alright, so Mistum is the metalsmith. I mean, you could just say that, you know, we have a you know, we have a way of generating steel. I don't know. Alright, so then we get, go to Mistum. Mistum is the blacksmith. Likes anvils and iron. So iron anvils, yay! This is really good. Also, probably, yeah, yeah, just Fantastic. Fantastically awesome. I say. I was even thinking of uh, making just a mechanic and also gave him that those social skills to comedian, one in comedian, two in uh, consoler pacifier. So, yeah, social group. I gave him back the iron anvil. And you have three turkey hands. I'm just going to, I'm going to go light on the dogs. I've been doing that lately. Just a breeding pair of dogs, breeding pair of cats. Thanks. Now this is an exploit too. This isn't really a cheat, but so you get you get the barrel thrown in for free. So that's one barrel. That's two barrels with one in it. You could call it a cheat, but the mountain home pitches it in because you're starting a new uh, civilization. So if you min max, they might look at you sideways. But uh, you know we could explain. Hey, it's to our advantage, and you want us to succeed. You know. There are people who do the opposite and, like, just take, like, a couple things, they'll do that. Yeah, this log uh, is going to be charcoal. Charcoal is 10. Uh, I'll take one of these, you know. I'm going to take the log. I'm going to turn it into, well, I'll just show you. 
I'll just show you what I do. But yeah, the charcoal is more expensive, but I turn this into charcoal. I turn these uh, ruddle boulders into blocks. I like ruddle for its purpleness. The Tumis coal makes coke. Uh, it makes nine coke per. I think of it as a uh, net gain of eight because you're using one to smelt the next one. We're going to get a lot of that because we're going to want to going to want to have our coke. I think I might do the drop. Malachite. Malachite's the ore of copper. You know, I might go a little, a little more Spartan than I normally do. Yeah. In fact, I could go, I think you maybe do mostly sand. So casserite is the ore of um, uh, tin. Now you mix tin and copper, you get Brass. I mean bronze. Bronze. I keep saying it wrong. Bronze is a better military metal. has a value of 5 than 2 because both uh, tin and uh, copper have a value of 2. Um, bronze weapons are better than copper weapons. And sphalerite is the ore of um, zinc. And you mix that in malachite and you get brass. That's the brass. Okay. Sand. And it's uh, got a value of 7. So it doesn't make weapons, but it makes very pretty things. Right, we're going to get some, but we're going to get our milks first. Get some milk type gems to look at so they could stare at in their time. No, I'm just kidding. Just to get it out of the way. Um, it's quicker on the fingers. I can't... Okay, yeah. There we go. No lie. See, we got all the milk. No ambulance. Alright, and I just get these out of the way. So boom, 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 boom. Alright. Maybe I take this up. And yeah, we might go real crazy with the sand. Yeah, that's a lot more than I normally do. Maybe I'll even have, um... Yeah. So, yeah, so that, that'll be... Uh... uh 80 casserites. That's, that's... I mean, 80, uh... Bronze. 80 bronze. So, yeah. We're going sand heavy. I like it. I do. All right, group name. The clasp of warmth. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, fortress name. Rock matched. Well, let's 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 go with rock something. Rock gravel. No. Traps, uh, rock attack. I don't know. Rock mountains. Uh, actually, I kind of like the iron. Yeah, Iron Mountains. We'll go Iron Mountain. Yeah, Iron Mountain. Yes, uh, Bolt Nets. Let's get a different one. The Infinite Helms. Okay, the Infinite. Okay, yeah. I like to have things laughing. All right, the infinite helms is an image of helms. The helms are laughing. Yeah. I like it. Okay, Ian Bark. Let's do this. We have arrived. Yeah, a sub, I don't know that it's going to stay a mason. Well, maybe for a bit. Dingle men get hungry. Uh, iron fountain. Strike the art. All right, <clears throat> limestone right off the bat. Good. 
Looks like we got some peat down here. Oh, dance sandy wall. I'm, okay. Yeah. All right, so we got feather trees, which are great. Hopefully, we don't have birch too. I've had that once where I had feather trees and birch. It makes it more confusing. Um. Yeah, but you. Uh, I only had that once. Normally, we have bituminous coal, so we got a coal source right there. Sand of clay. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is not. Rock crystal. Colonite. We got colonite. Could have done a potter. Right, let's do the zoom out. Let's go up. Alright, this is better than I thought. Oh, is that snow up there? I can't tell. Yeah, snow. Okay, cool. So. Yeah, we got limestone. A lot of limestone. It's like uh, petrified wood here. Yeah, somebody likes that too, I believe. So it was a previous generation. No! Get out of the way. Who likes petrified wood? Yeah, petrified. Okay. The weaponsmith does. So that's irrelevant. Oh, magnetite. I could tell because there's a lot. If it's it was just a little, then it would be um, ah, Iron Mountain. Cool, magnetite and hematite. Um, yeah, fitting. And also, it's got the flux of steel. Oh, that's not relevant to iron, um, really. Oh, and limonite. So I got all. Yeah, I got all the ores. Got hematite, limonite, and magnetite. That's that's what it takes to to make iron. And we got the, the fuel to to smelt it. Perfect. We got Galena. Okay. <clears throat> we got sand. Got more iron. Good. Bauxite, which looks just like colonite, but it's not. It's just a stone. And we got uh, more bauxite. Galena. Got a lot of Galena. Galena is the ore of lead. 50% silver. What's in the area? Ooh, we do have some stuff. We've got a giant sponge. We, we got nothing super dangerous, though. Well, actually, nothing dangerous. Giant otter, otters, but still, they're otters. We have uh, carp. They used to be pretty dangerous. They used to eat dwarves. I don't think they do that anymore. When the dwarves would fish, they'd get eaten. All right, so that's all on the river. And uh, none of it's really all that deadly. Um, all right, now I'm going to do the prospect all. So there's prospect. She gives you a list of everything you can see. See, like if we were to go through and count everything, this is what we'd come up with. So our willows are we're 141. So we see like all the trees and stuff. It goes up to 148. That's uh, the highest that they go. The mountains go higher um, without trees because the mountains don't. The trees don't grow on the mountain. Uh, these are the shrubs. Got some rope reeds. It's good. I like rope reeds. Got uh, sunberries. I like. I got a thing for sunberries and rope reeds. Sunberries you only find in good aligned areas. We got lignite, bituminous coal. Those are our fuels. Lignite is about half as good as bituminous coal. Bituminous coal gives you nine. Lignite gives you five. Net gain of eight. Net gain of four. That's how I think of it. We got colonite for porcelain. Cool. We got a lot of bauxite too, which is just a um, uh, dark redstone. Uh, these are some gems sticking out. Got all the uh, the irons uh, represented. You can see it goes up to yeah, limestone goes up to 53. So that's the tippy top of the mountain. It's all limestone up there, so it's cool. We got sand, tan, and we got clay. We don't know where the magma is, but we're going to find out. 140 for the water. It's one level below this. So now we go prospect all. And this is every uh, tally of everything we can see, everything we can't. So it gives an idea of where the uh, tunnels come in. We want 141. So we look. What's the highest of the underground stuff? It looks like 97. So 97 very well could be the very bottom of the topmost layer of the first level of the caverns. So meaning... If we go down to like 10 above, like 107, 
uh, we're we're running risk. Once we get into that territory, we're starting to run risk more and more of, of hitting the caverns. So we have a apparently a lot of room. Allegedly, I don't know. It's not an exact science. Um, so we can see the bottom of the bottom level. There's three levels, and then there's a level below that. I'm not supposed to talk about. I'm under I'm under contract, under psychic contract, not to talk about it. Otherwise, um, I die or something. I don't know. So. Yeah, negative 12. Sometimes it tells you the second level. See, 26, that's that's a bit of a distance, but I don't know. I don't know if that says anything about the second, the top of the second level. I'm not sure about that. And yeah, 93 is definitely still, I think, part of the first level. So it looks like there's a lot of room in between those. But it could be very well that it's just, I mean, sometimes it just doesn't tell you because, you know, it's, it may be on the top and the bottom, all of them. So Who knows is what I'm saying. All right, so we got a lot of bituminous coal. We got uh, we got some coal night, lignite. Good to see higher numbers. I wanted um, like ten thousand. Uh, but we'll find it. It's all kind of near the top, so so we should be able to get it all. Well, not all of it, but crystal rock. I like to see at least a gram. We got four grand. That's good. All right, we have uh, uh, over a thousand adamantine. That's good. Uh, it looks like the yeah the magnum is way the fuck down there that sucks, but uh, we got tetrahedrite, we see our copper, twenty percent silver. That means we get four twenty percent chances of an extra bar of silver, up to four. Galena is the uh, ore of lead, fifty percent silver, similar to that. The rest are just straight like gold is gold, sphalerite is zinc, oh a lot of brass, uh, silver and horn silver, silver garnite is nickel, uh, magma safe in both garnite and nickel form. Cassiterite is tin. We can do tin glazes or more bronze. Magnetite, hematite, and limonite are irons. We have a lot, which is good. We got platinum. We got uh, malachite, which is silver. I brought some of that. We don't have a lot of it, but that's fine. Who cares? Um, we could get uh, copper ores from tetrahedrite if we really want. And I don't really care about the copper. Bismuthonite if we want bismuth bronze, which I don't really care, but there's a way to do that. Neo aluminum. Aluminum is also very good. All right, we got uh, where's our flux? Oh well, we got the limestone. I guess that's it. I was I was expecting to have uh, marble underneath, but I guess not. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any uh, flux down here as well? Calcite. This is a flux. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot there. Interesting. We got uh, a tiny bit of calcite and limestone. We have a good amount of limestone, but still. Okay. All right, that's it. Oh, except for what kind of animals did we bring? Ah, we got yaks. Uh, yak bull and yak cow. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, you've been great, everybody. You did a good job watching, allegedly, I guess. I don't know if that's a thing or if I could even tell. But if I can't tell and you got away with it, well, shame on you. Um, but that's okay, because who cares? All right, thanks. Bye.